Now, before you try any troubleshooting steps, if you have the game on Steam, you can install RedSec on eApp and then you can launch the game and then check if you have the game on eApp, you can use Steam. You can install RedSec in Steam and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to add the game exe file and EA anti cheat service launcher in exploit protection. Now, for this, uh, you can type in exploit protection in Windows search box and then click on exploit protection over here. And then go to program settings over here. Then click on add a program to customize. Choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder. So, if you have, if, if you have the game on Steam, you can open program file 686 if you have the game on C drive and then open the steam folder steam apps folder and then open the common folder open the game folder and select the game exe file over here and if you have the game on like ea app then open program files and then ea games and then battlefield 6 and then select the game exe file to go open once the game is added put a check on override system settings for all the options so in my case i have put a check on all the override system settings and then if these are on, like if this is on, you can turn it off. So for each option, you have to turn off under system override settings. You have to turn this off, turn off everything and then hit apply, click on yes. And do the same thing with the EA anti-cheat. Now choose exact file path and you can select EA anti-cheat game service launcher, open and again put a check on override system settings and turn off all the option under this so if these are on you have to turn this off turn off everything and then hit apply click on ok click on yes to allow again add a program to choose exact file path open this sp folder battlefield 6 i think this would be checked when you do with the main exe file now once done you can relaunch the game and then check still not working turn off smooth motion in nvidia app so if you have nvidia app launch nvidia app on your computer nvidia card users can launch nvidia app now once nvidia app is open and now you can go to graphics over here and then select battlefield 6 and then over here uh, scroll down here you can see smooth motion if this is on you can turn it off go to global settings and then turn off smooth motion over here and then relaunch the game and then check now the next step is to disable all mods before you launch the game so if you're using frosty fix disable all the mods before you play battlefield 6 now the next step is to delete storage pool now before you delete the storage pool you will lose data present on storage pool or storage space create a backup first and then you can delete it do it at your own risk and you can get the details about the storage pool on microsoft website here you can see storage space in windows you can understand what is storage pool to delete the storage pool you can open windows settings and then go to system and then go to storage option over here find storage and then click on it and then scroll down go to advanced storage settings storage space and over here i don't have any storage pool over here but if you have it you can delete it all the data will be gone and once this is done now relaunch the game this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to uncheck check or uncheck dlc now for this if you have the game on e app click on manage modify install and here you can see the game now you can uncheck this hd texture you can uncheck uh, the dlc and then you can once you uncheck it it will update update it and then relaunch the game similarly if, if you have the game on uh, steam you can select the game on the right hand side click on manage my dlc and over here you can if you want you can uncheck this uh, hd texture for battlefield 6 hd texture and you can uncheck the dlc and then launch the game it will go through an update launch the game and then check if your dlcs are already unchecked you can put a check let the update complete and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disconnect internet so before you launch the game you can disconnect the internet turn off the wi-fi or you can unplug the power uh, the ethernet cable and then you can launch the game and once the game is up and running you can connect to the internet and then you can check it will you can launch the game once it is disconnected and then once you are able to launch the game you can connect and the ea app will go online and then you can check now the next step is to 
repair, uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat. Now for this, you can go to EA website. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to EA website. Here you can see EA Javelin anti-cheat installer. Click on it and then run this exe file. Let the download complete. Now run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now over here, uh, you can select the game. Yeah, select the game over here and then click on repair. Click on OK. Go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed. Select the complete game folder and then click on select folder. And once the repair is complete, you will see install success. And once that is done, relaunch the game and then check. This may take some time. So here you can see install success. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working. Then select Battlefield 6 once again and then click on update. And once the update is com complete, you can check during the update EA Javelin anti-cheat setup may restart. And then once update is success, launch the game and then check still not working. Select Battlefield 6 once again, click on uninstall. Once done, click on install. Once the install is success, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Select Battlefield 6 once again and then click on uninstall. Do not install this time. You can close this and then you can relaunch the game. When you relaunch the game, during the launch, it will reinstall EA Anti-Cheat. And then you can check. Now over here you can see it will install EA Anti-Cheat and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to create a new admin local user account. For this, you can open Windows settings. Go to accounts and then go to other users over here and then click on add account. And over here, click on I don't have this person's sign in information. Click on it. And then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. You can create uh, you can create a username. This is just an example. If you want a password, you can enter the password. If you don't want it, leave it blank. Next, and once the account is created, click on it, change account type, and set this to administrator over here. And then click on OK, and then log out and log in to the new account. So you can just uh, restart your computer or you can uh, lock your computer and then you have to log into this new account and then install the game and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to set GST render DX12 to 1. Uh, now for this, you can open File Explorer on your computer. Go to documents over here and find the game over here. You will see the game folder, Battlefield 6 folder. Open this folder and then open this settings. Open this pro save profile. Make a right click. Open with select notepad over here. Now find over here. You can find DX12. Here you can see. GST render DX12 enable. If this is set to zero, you can type in one over here and then go to file and then click on save. And then now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can rename this folder. When you rename it, all the saved settings will be lost. So create a backup first. You will lose all the save game progress, all this uh, like saved settings. Now for this, you can copy this folder, create a backup and you can Maybe paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename this. And once you rename it, now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX12 or DX11 in launch options. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Go to the general tab in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game, close this, launch the game and then check still not working. Go to properties once again, type in dash DX12 over here and then launch the game and then check still not working. Remove this. If you have the game on e app, you can go to e app manage over here and then uh, go to view properties and in advanced launch option, type in dash DX11, save it. And now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12, save it. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this. Save it. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to.
try debug mode in nvidia control panel so go to desktop make or activate the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel Now once NVIDIA control panel is open, uh, go to help option at the top and then select debug mode over here. Put a check on debug mode and then relaunch the game and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to disable integrated graphic card. And once you're done playing the game, you can enable it again. So if your computer has a dual graphic card, make or click on the start menu, the, go to device manager. Now expand display adapter over here. If your computer has a dual graphic card, one is integrated. In my case, it's Intel. Make a right click and then click on disable device. And once it is disabled, launch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, make a right click once again and then click on enable device. Now, still not working. The next step is to repair or verify the game file. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. If you have the game on eApp, click on manage and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed, and then make a double click over here, launch the game from here, and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again. This time you can put a check over here and select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. That is mega right click on EA, EA anti-cheat game service launcher and then run as administrator and then check. You can even open this SP folder. You can make a right click and then you can run this administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to, if able to launch the game, you can switch from PAX to NATO and vice versa. So if you're able, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game, but if you're able to launch the game, you can do this. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to a loadouts over here at the top. And then now if this is set to Pax Armata, you can set it to NATO, switch to NATO and then check. If it is already set to NATO, in that case, you can uh, try this Pax Armata. But for many users, NATO is working fine. So you can try this and then you can check. Now, the next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now, for this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down here. You can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64 install both the files x86 and x64 run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once installed you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to Steam users run EA app in the background. So if you have the game on Steam, you can just open EA app in the background and then relaunch the game from Steam and then check. If EA app is already running, still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can exit EA app, close EA app and then relaunch the game and then check. Try both. Next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to power options over here. If you see power saver option like this, you can select power save over here and then launch the game. You can even try balanced, relaunch the game and then check. You can even go for high performance. But first of all, try power saver, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can type in graphics settings in Windows search box. Click on graphics settings. Sorry. Graphics settings. And then click on graphics settings over here. And then over here, click on advanced graphic settings and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If this is off, you can turn it on, relaunch the game and then check. If it is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, 
like if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo go to lenovo website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find, go to drivers page find bios update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to close these applications so if you have daemon tools running on your computer you can make a right click on the start menu go to task manager and in the task manager if you find daemon tools running over here uh, like this daemon tool over here you can make a right click and then click on end task once closed make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager if you find daemon tools in device manager disable it under storage controller if you find it in my case i have already disabled so you will see disable device you can make a right click disable it daemon tools under universal serial bus controller make a right click disable it and then you can relaunch the game if you have you can even uninstall daemon tool restart your computer and then check you can even uh, if you want you can reinstall in future if you're using ds4 re wsd auto hotkey joy 2 key razor snaps corsair ic ue face it anti cheat right vanguard logitech either mouse drop top application rain meter application game companion app wipe ports wipes vr software you can close these application so first of all you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager if you find these application close it from the task manager end the process if you find it in device manager make a right click and disable it if you find this xvdd scsi mini port in device manager disable it corsair bus if you find it in device manager disable it if not working can even uninstall these application close all third party application like if you have vlc media um, vlc codec wallpaper engine msi afterburner application close it if you're using this application zaprate application you can uninstall it crypto pro punk buster uninstall and delete these application from your computer if you have this goodbye dpi app uninstall it that troubleshooting is not limited to these application if you have any any third party application or services running you can close it close the, those application and its services in task manager and disable it in the device manager if present and then re restart your computer and then check next step is to disconnect all kinds of usb devices from your computer which you are not using like if you have usb flash drive thumb drive any kind of usb adapter if you have external keyboard like razer huntsman key crown keyboard or mouse you can disconnect it disconnect the dongle unplug external devices like hotas wheel pedals razer tartarus any kind of usb adapter disconnect it disconnect headphone relaunch the game and then connect the headphone disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working uh, you can uninstall the game after you uninstall the game you can go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel